future of European Union, as well as future of Croatia, is on the Mediterranean. However, the Arab Spring has shown uh, how close is Mediterranean to the European Union and how much Mediterranean political and economic instability may have influence on EU uh, through, say, decrease of trade and increase of fuel prices, as example. R recession in the European Union, on the other hand, has worsened economic conditions in Mediterranean countries, triggering unrest and revolt. Still, over 75 of European trade is realized with Mediterranean countries, and the European Union is the largest Mediterranean export market. It is of, of utmost importance for you to turn uh, more focus on Mediterranean foreign policy and the Mediterranean foreign policy of European Union, as well as Croatia, as its member country, should be governed by, by two basic principles. One is support for processes that bring peace and stability to the Mediterranean, and second is support for processes that aims for higher Euro-Mediterranean integration. Uh, uh, Europe has uh, to act as a peace moderator on the Mediterranean, and one of the models of achieving that is extending of OSCE uh, to encompass all Mediterranean countries. Croatia should uh, begin building its new European identity, uh, which means the European member country with special role at the Mediterranean and the Mediterranean country with special role within the EU. Croatia should become a, a dialogue point between Europe and the Mediterranean due to its unique experiences. The first experience is that Croatia is the only uh, EU member country with, a, with an indigenous Muslim community, which is not a result of migration from Mediterranean. This Muslim community is fully integrated in Croatian society, and it should be noted almost 100 years ago, that is, at 1916, Croatian parliament adopted the law of equalizing Christians and Muslims in Croatia. Based on that experience, uh, we uh, may conclude that uh, instrumentalization of religion for political purposes uh, unfortunately dominates the Arab Spring, systematically un undermining stability of the Mediterranean uh, and Euro-Mediterranean in integration. This leads to enormous economic and political damages, such as worsening of relations between religions. Efforts to stop these uh, trends would be slow and costly. Namely, a religious organization may and should provide ethical background for political scene by insisting on certain ethical values, like suppression of corruption, uh, care for public needs, etc. But the problem arises when politics uh, becomes interrelated with religious or organization. Uh, the politics and religion should remain in separate spheres. And this uh, respect for a separation between religion and the state, religion and politics, should be a principle without exceptions. It should not be a result of political calculation aimed for so-called moderate representatives of politicized religion. Any such political game practically always result in the opening of Pandora box. And uh, our experience from the Eastern Adriatic shows that separation between religion and politics is possible not only in Christianity, but also in Islam, as shown by official recognition of Muslim nation in uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina in 1969. Uh, the other Croatian experience is that Croatia is a country uh, which ex experience, uh, experienced the tra transition to democracy, however, overlapped with the Croatian independence war. Which lessons did we learn from that? First lesson is that tra transition to democracy in countries engulfed in war should be treated separately. War radicalizes political positions, leaving some of the basic debates for better times. The second lesson is that uh, the chances for successful transition are higher, say, in Libya, uh, if there is a functioning state uh, at the start of transition process, uh, with president, government, parliament, local authorities, etc., thus enabling a uh, smooth tra transition of powers. Uh, beside, uh, there should be a, a popular consensual support for transition and wide understanding of the role of political parties and their programs, uh, the meaning of election, and consensus on basic national values. And finally, uh, the organized 
existence of organized political parties or, or, or movements that should lead the transition. There are uh, namely no spontaneous transition, even if they have started by spontaneous uprising. Uh, the third lesson uh, is that change of government, say in Syria, uh, can be uh, seen by three parameters. The first parameter is percentage of popular support for, for change within the country, and this percentage of popular support for a change or for some leader or opposition leader within the country is often in a stark contrast with the expectation of emigre opposition leaders and their international su supporters. The second parameter is ability of new government to establish control and to stabilize political and economic processes in the, in the country, otherwise the country may slide in, into anarchy. And third is international support and acceptance of new government on the minor side this often results in economic and political concessions to France by the uh, new establishment. The fourth lessons we we'll learn is that new governments are commonly faced with an urgent uh, need to stabilize and repair social economic in the country, which are the most common triggers for the change. Uh, dealing with ideological issues is, however, uh, an easier and more favored job, as showed uh, in Egypt by Muslim Brotherhood. And, and fifth lesson is that transition to democracy means transition of power, which in turn means uh, a different uh, governance over national resources and the public property, which basically means pro privatization by foreign actors and ne neglecting of public goods in favor of private interests. Uh, Croatia, therefore, should uh, become European bridge to the Mediterranean instead of being some kind of European wall uh, toward the Mediterranean. So, uh, understanding that the true role uh, of you and the Mediterranean is to be peace uh, mediator and factor of stability, uh, it, it should be said that the European Union has spent most of its di diplomatic credits uh, by siding in Syrian conflict instead of being neutral. After such a move, becoming a neutral, Peace mediator, acceptable for both sides, uh, is very hard, but not entirely Im impossible uh, since some of the European countries manage to retain a certain degree of impartiality. For peace solution or compromise in, in Syria, the creation of new political balance is uh, needed uh, at the peace conference and by formation of transitional government. For security stabilization in Libya, where after the uh, intervention, a new government has been est established. The security situation deteriorates because of a visible disengagement of international community. Both of these uh, processes uh, are well known to observers from the Eastern Asiatic, well illustrated on the example of Bosnia and Herzegovina. In Bosnia and Herzegovina, the Dayton process of 1995 uh, started with uh, all the conflict sides taking part at Dayton Conference with presence of all neighbors as, as well as USA, Russia, European Union and UN. Stopping the fights and subsequent disarmament was an integral part of the peace agreement in Bosnia and Herzegovina. A provisional governance system with two entities was put in place in Bosnia and Herzegovina, however with the aim or being transformed to a more rational form at some uh, later moment, uh, giving a uh, more stable solution and as assuming a strong and longer lasting international role. However, the interim peace so solution imposed uh, by dating conference in Bosnia and Herzegovina unfortunately was understood by some actors as a permanent one. No uh, structural reforms happened and overall stagnation in, ensured political, organizational and economic. And in the stagnant uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina, protests spread and economy degrades further. We believe that conclusions drawn on Bosnian example will, will help creating uh, more stable solutions in Syria and Libya. Thank you.